We're going to continue looking at object properties and specifically to do with the outline settings in the object properties, the outline tab. And generally speaking, there's two choices. We've got satin stitch outlines and we've got running line outlines. And so what I'll do is I'll, I'm going to go to running line outlines first. Right now, the object we have is set with a satin stitch outline. And I can see that the width of that satin stitch outline was set in our tool options at two millimeters. So here I have a two millimeter satin stitch outline. And um, now what I'm going to do is change it to be a running stitch outline. So there's the running line. But um, if I look very closely, you can still see, of course, the blue um, two millimeter width that was defined in the tool options. And so that actually becomes relevant because the width of your outline, when you choose run stitch, the width of your outline will determine whether you get a single run line or a triple run line. And then you are also able to control the number of passes. But that's going to relate still to the outline. In other words, if I set it smaller and we get a single run line, and then I put the passes up to two or three, it'll go around it twice or three times. But the but whether it's a single run line or a triple run line de depends on what your outline setting is. So right now with the outline setting at two millimeters, I can tell you that my outline is going to be a triple run line. And I can show that, I guess first of all, maybe what I'll do, I'm just gonna get rid of the fill so we don't have to watch the fill so in the slow redraw. So I can get rid of my fill by clicking on the empty color palette in the bottom that removes the fill from our object and just leaves the outline only. Now if I go ahead and choose slow redraw, you'll be able to watch it so, and you can see here that, and maybe if I slow it down just a little bit, that each stitch is being stitched three times. It goes forward, back, forward, forward, back, forward, forward, back, and that's known as a triple stitch, which is fine. And the reason that it's a triple stitch, if I stop right now and select my object, is based on this outline setting of two millimeters. And um, the smallest outline setting that I'm allowed to choose would be 0.1. So if I choose 0.1, now we can see, and you can see it visually that it's gone to a single line, but I'm going to watch it so. So we'll go to slow redraw. I'll push start. And now you can see that it just simply goes forward, 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 all the way around the shape and gives you a single run line. Now if you want, you can select that shape and increase the number of passes. So I'll make it two or three. I think you can go up to nine times if you want to around it. So I'm going to set it for three passes just to show how you can control this. So slow redraw, start, and here it goes around the first pass. And then when it returns to the center, it's just going to keep going a second time. And of course, I asked for three times, so it's going to go one more time around before it finishes off that embroidery object. So generally speaking, three times around in a single ply is going to be the same as your triple stitch. The only difference is it has to walk around three full times. And with the triple stitch, it does all three in one pass around the shape. Now, if you increase your outline width, and I believe the magic number is 0.5, anything from 0.1 to 0.4 will give you a single. If I so, I'll just demonstrate that. If I put it at 0.4, still looks the same to me. Hit the slow redraw. Actually, maybe I'll stop for a minute and I'll put the number of passes back down to one. Okay, and hit the slow redraw. Say start, and I can just speed it up a little bit, and you'll see that it goes around once and stops. So what I was saying was, as soon as we go to 0.5. You can visually see that it got fatter on screen. And again, it's a single pass. But if I watch it so now, start it, here you've got that triple stitch where it's going forward, back, forward, forward, back, forward, forward, back. And it ends up doing each stitch three times. So that's the first thing you need to know, is that when you're dealing with a running outline, you need to look at the outline width. And it can be anything larger than, one, than 0.5. So it doesn't matter if you leave it set at one millimeter and, and then you watch it so it's still just going to have a triple stitch. So the option is anything from 0.1 to 0.4 will give you a single run line. Anything from 0.5 and higher will give you a triple run line. And of course, like I was saying before, we have the ability in our object properties to control the number of passes, which means how many times will it travel around the shape. 
Um, you can offset this, so I guess if I wanted to, I could offset my run stitch from my shape. So we'll just use um, one millimeter as an example. And now you can see, if I look really closely, here's the shape, but I've offset my running line outside of the shape. So that's what offset's all about, the ability to set your outline further outside of your shape. I'm just going to turn that off, that's fine. Now the other thing when you use a running line is you have these styles. And the styles are the same styles that we had in our fill stitch tab, except for this time they apply along a line. And so you can easily see the, the way that they look. Um, that's the chain, this is more of an applique setting, and then we have all sorts of decorative ones. So, and, um, so these are all of your different choices for decorative run lines or styles for your run stitch line and I'll just click on a few of them to show you how you can you know really create many many different looks in your run stitch lines using this option so that's the running line option and um, what I'll do now is just prepare my thoughts and then come back and talk a little bit more about how um, we can control the satin stitch with the outline properties, object properties.